Hello everyone, I have decided to upload occasionally tutorials on different Revit commands one by one. So if you want to learn or have any confusion about a specific Revit command, do tell me in the comments so that maybe I can help you. Today in this video, I am going to talk a little bit about the reference planes. It is very important to learn about these planes because whenever you create a family or mass, you always need reference planes. A reference plane is basically an imaginary 2D plane on which you draw the extrusion, sweep or any other similar command. For this tutorial, I have opened this uh, furniture template file. Here you can see in the create tab this reference plane command. Its short is RP. This template file has built in two reference planes in this plan mode one is the center front back and the other one is center left right this is basically its name this is the com uh, area from, uh, set is the basically the command from which you set these reference planes uh, you can see that the name of those two reference planes are in that dialog box so if you want to work in this front back uh, uh, reference plane which is being visible here you set it from this dialog box and it automatically asks that it can only be accessed from the front or back elevation so you select that elevation and from here you can see If you click on this show icon here, you can see a grid has been visible in it. You can adjust its spacing, uh, for example, to 1 feet, to 6 inches, to 3 inches, or whatever you want. This, uh, With the help of this grid, you can draw um, the elevation according to the dimensions. And if you don't need this grid, you can just turn it off. Now, let's draw an extrusion on the reference level floor plan. Give it an extrusion at a two feet and go to 3D. Now I want to draw an other extrusion on this surface for that set and you can see here in this dialog box there is a command pick up plane and from here you can select any plane any surface which is visible here and make that surface as the reference plane. So I have selected this surface as the reference plane and I, I want to drop on it. Now if you don't want to switch again and again between the 3d and the elevations you can just click on this viewer button then you can see that uh, that uh, elevation has now appeared here and you can just simply draw in it so this basically helps that you don't have to switch between the elevation and the 3d views and even if there is uh, something drawn behind the surface it will also be visible in this work plane viewer you don't always need to draw a straight uh, reference plane you can also draw an angle rotated reference plane like as shown in this video now click on this reference plane and uh, if you see in this dialog box it's it does not appear here it is because you have not provided a name to it so i'm just going to name it tilt and now this reference plane is visible in this dialog box so now I have set it this reference plane. It asks me to go in one of these 
uh, browse uh, areas so that you can draw on it and i'm going to draw the circle here click ok and now you can see that it has been drawn on this reference plane now even if you change the angle of this reference plane that element which you have drawn on this reference plane will move along with it because it has been attached with this reference plane if you want to place a reference plane in the front elevation you either draw it on the floor plan or you can draw it on the left or right uh, elevation it can, the, the reference plane which is required in the front elevation can never be drawn in the front elevation Similarly, if I need a reference plane in the uh, floor plan, I need to draw it in the elevation like this. I'm going to assign a name to it. Now go to floor plan. Set the reference plane to this upper level. And then draw on this reference plane now go to the front elevation and you see that it has been drawn on that plane so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have if you want to learn any specific command or have any confusion you can ask me and i would be glad to help i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe